a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Good morning. It is a delight to have you join me today again for another episode of Alpha. I am Joy Bailey. Let us pray. Our Father, thank you again for the privilege of studying your words. Please bless us now through the power of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. We continue in the series in the crucible with Christ and this week's subtopic, seeing the invisible. But this is quite paradoxical. How can one see the invisible, you might ask? We see the invisible through the eyes of faith. As Christians, we are called to develop eyes of faith in him who is invisible yet very present in our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the ex express image of the Father. Of course, when things are going right, we're more apt to talk about faith. However, it is more challenging to see him who is invisible, especially when things are going out of control in our lives. When we have faith, we tap into the power of the Father. God who is nothing but love. We know that, don't we? However, we sometimes doubt his love for us when we ask questions about his love for us. All of us at times ask the pointed questions. If God really loves me, why does he allow these things to happen? If he really cares, why doesn't he allow things to go my way? And the wise go on and on. I invite you to study Romans 8 verses 28 to 39 to grasp the extent of God's love for us. Verse 32 is a creature. Since he did not spare his own son, this demonstrates the great love that he has for all of us. Faith gives us power in the name of Jesus. When we make our request known to God in the name of Jesus, we are privileged to have the entire machinery of heaven working on our behalf. We put our faith on display when we accept that our purse, that our purse prayed in the name of Jesus may be dramatically answered. Or there is a waiting period, or maybe silence altogether. One thing we must be certain of is our prayers are always heard. The answers will come eventually. That's faith. When we have faith, we believe in the power of the resurrection. God's power called Jesus from the dead back to life, and that same power is available to us today. Faith gives us power over anxiety. The Apostle Peter encourages us to cast all our anxieties on Jesus. There is nothing too big or too small for him to take care of. He wants us to give them all to him now, not when we have exhausted all human efforts, because he cares for us. Faith gives us power over darkness. To think that no one cares and loves us when we are in a dark place is unpleasant. But to think that God does not care is very distressing. It is like living in darkness with no light to illuminate the path. The assurance is given in Isaiah 40, 20 to, 20 to 31. When we wait upon the Lord in faith, he gives us power over our dark moments. He will renew our strength. He will lead us and tenderly cares for us as a shepherd cares for his flock. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, today I pray that you will increase our faith, that we might see you who are invisible, the only wise God and Jesus our Savior. May we not allow the cares of life to dim our eyes from seeing who you truly are to us. Forgive us where we have dumped and help our unbelief 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for once again joining us on this episode of Alpha. If you were blessed, please like, subscribe, and share the link so that others too can be blessed. And you do have a wonderful day. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.